In this video, I am sharing with you how we turned our deck that we built last summer into this dreamy outdoor oasis. The biggest, most impactful design decision I made for this outdoor makeover was the trellis privacy wall. Not only was it going to be beautiful and functional, but in the end, it brings the whole space to life. But figuring out how to secure it to the deck was probably the trickiest part. I had to go in my garage and see what I had and we ended up experimenting with a little bit of scrap PVC that I had along with outdoor zip ties. And what we realized was in order to protect the trellis from the wind and just really have it be the strongest that it could be, we needed something that was going to go all the way from the bottom of the trellis to the top and you zip tie it to the deck. So we realized that later and changed up the plan. I thought this outdoor table was so cool. I loved how easy it was to make it extendable to seat more people but also save space if needed. The chairs on the other hand, I did have a little bit of a experimentation phase with these ones in particular. These chairs you had to completely assemble and it ended up being a lot of work and it was actually rather difficult to assemble them. So. I ended up taking them to the store and returning them and getting new ones that came assembled and I actually liked the color way more. John and I literally had so much furniture to assemble this day. We also had a 6 a.m. flight the same day from Florida, and so we came home and assembled furniture for like four or five hours. It was a bit insane, but we were on a mission. <laughs> When choosing the outdoor furniture for this makeover, it was important to me to have a color palette that was cohesive with my interior. So for me, that was white, black, and brown. Luckily, all the furniture I found was affordable and stunning, whereas if I went with more high-end pieces, my budget probably wouldn't have allowed me to have this much furniture. So it worked out in the end, and the chairs and love seats are comfortable, which is a huge factor in this outdoor space. As you can tell so far, I've carved out our dining space on one side and then I have this zone which I call the conversation area and I think I'll have another video where I do a walkthrough tour of the deck makeover to talk in detail about everything. So let me know down in the comments if you'd be interested in a deep dive slash tour type of video. Huge shout out to my friend M for continuing to come back and help me with this project because I could not have done it without them. Earlier I mentioned how we were experimenting on the best ways to install the trellis wall and in order to make the outdoor privacy wall strong, we zip tied the trellis panels to wood and then the wood was zip tied to the deck. This is eight feet. You think eight feet's fine? 
For the light installation, I had the idea of replacing a few of the wood pieces with longer ones and using a curvy hook to hold the lights and connect them to hooks meant for vinyl siding. I'll make sure to leave the links to everything in the description for you. Before actually installing these longer pieces of wood to the trellis and deck, I wanted to verify that I had equal amount of spacing for the lights. So that's a good tip for you is that you'll want to space plan everything before installing permanently. These lights are from Amazon and ended up being perfect for this space. I know there are a lot of vintage looking lights with longer bulbs, but the one thing I realized is that if you use longer bulbs and your lights hang low, you run the risk of running into them. So I was really happy with the smaller bulbs on these strands. Once I got all my positioning the way I wanted, I took the longer pieces of wood to the garage for painting and then brought them back out to install once they were dry. I can feel you mm -hmm. Once you've seen all the things, all the places I hope it means that you'll come home to me Once you travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart That was such a tease to not show you the lights turning on, but trust me, we are almost at the best part of this video. While Em and I finish up this trellis, I wanted to take some time to thank you for being here, a part of my community, even if this is the first video of mine you're watching. Thank you. I do have a super exciting launch coming up this year where I will be releasing my decorating course so I'll leave more details about it down below but if you are someone that just wants a beautiful home and could benefit from some guidance I definitely recommend checking out my design services I'd love to work with you on your home Lastly, we are in the home stretch of this outdoor makeover. I wanted to film how the lights were holding up during the rain and windy conditions and they have been perfect. We did go to Ikea for some faux plants and I'm thinking I'll try real ones next spring. But this makeover couldn't have been complete without shopping local and supporting another business. So shout out to my friend Katie over at Honeybee Home. She had the perfect pots to tie in all of the colors of the space together. I did have the brilliant idea of weighing down my outdoor cushions that have zippers to prevent them from blowing away. So I bought a bag of sand for $3 and made mini ones to pop in my cushions. And it was one of those DIYs that left me feeling like it can't be this easy, but it really was. So that was pretty cool. Um, this is also probably a good time to mention that I did purchase outdoor covers for everything outside and they've been holding up great. I just had to practice with securing them so that way the wind wouldn't mess them up but I was really happy with all of them and they were all from Amazon so they were pretty affordable. The 
other thing per John's request was to figure out how to not let the cushion slide and so I added this grip that is usually in drawers or even under rugs in some cases and I used that to hold the cushions in place. It ended up working out perfectly and I only needed one roll for all four chairs. And for the final detail before the most epic reveal ever is adding sand to these plant pots. Not only did it weigh them down so they don't get knocked over in the wind, but it also makes it look more real and natural. Not that the plant looks more real, but just in general, more natural elements brought outside, which was really nice. Thank you so, so much for making it to the end of this video and for watching in general. If you loved this outdoor makeover and you loved the color scheme and the furniture and the decor and just in general how everything came together, you're surely gonna love my decorating course that I'm launching this year in 2022. It's gonna be real good. So definitely check that out in the description along with the links to everything. And of course, you can follow me at Hunter's Designs on all the social channels. And I would love to hear from you down in the comments what your favorite part of the makeover was. I think mine is probably going to be the dining table just because I like to eat outside. So let me know your favorite part and with that I will see you on the next makeover video. Bye!